Abend. Yeah, our plans have all just gone, like, they've have literally they? done a 360 during the last week because, really? yeah. I'm kind of also, like, now, I haven't told Dave this is going to kill me when I did. <laughs> I kind of want two dresses. One thing I actually just want to say, have you noticed people coming out of the woodwork since you got engaged? <laughs> really? Oh, what, what do you is mean? that in, like, oh, like oh, old friends people coming back? Just all of a sudden making a huge effort, like... Welcome to Home or Drink with Charlene and Ellie. Our podcast is like a group club between your best friends, the girls' bathroom on a night out where you spill all the gossip on relationship dilemmas and your entire whole life and you overshare. Whole life. And you regret it the next day and you say, <laughs> why did I tell that random person that random Our story? podcast is like the fair. Yeah, <laughs> literally, I don't even get the fair anymore because I say it all in the podcast anyway. Yeah. That is actually a life hack to not get the fair. Just say everything say anyway. outright anyway. Yeah. yeah. I never really get the fair. I do and you have to pull me up on it all the time. Ellie! Uh, stop no, I, that's hear, I can just hear you say, like, stop. Yeah, <laughs> please stop it. Um, Home and Drink is out for you every Wednesday at 12. But we also have full video now, so we cameras in front of us. And that comes out Thursdays at 12. Can I like, just say, if you're watching, actually, my Crocs are filthy because we had a shoot yesterday and I wore my oh. cream Crocs, but they got really, like, it was like, there was seaweed all over them, I think. Oh. So I had to pick my pink ones, and my pink ones are the ones that I wear, like, cleaning the shower Around and stuff. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're absolutely manky, but... We're here now. So on this week's episode of Homer Drink, we had the beautiful and amazing Aiden Kate and Miriam Mullins mm. talking all things engagements, weddings, wedding dilemmas, things that they need to do on the wedding day and things they will be avoiding. Yes. Will they be making content on the wedding day? Mm. You will see in this chat. <laughs> we also talked about some wedding dilemmas. So someone who has five really close friends but only wants to ask two of them as bridesmaids. How do you do it? And I know. Mm. What, how do you break the news? Yeah. Do you write them a letter? Um, and then we also had a dilemma about a girl who wasn't asked to be her brother's sister's bro boyfriend. <laughs> we done this in the episode. Well. <laughs> Boyfriend's sister's Sister. bridesmaid yeah. and how she feels about that and what we would advise her on. We had a little bit of chat about our new venture as well. Woo! Our new brand, um, which you'll see as well. But we hope you enjoyed this episode. We got so much wedding advice and I hope you do too. And yeah, enjoy. Oh my god, yes, if you're watching, I have to try to hold this mic. I'm wearing the Our merch. Woohoo! We ran called Birdhouse. Yeah. And we launched Birdhouse. Summer Bird top. It has a little bikini top. There's a little lobster drinking rose. Of course. There's a little lemon mm -hmm. and flowers and a little shell. I love this one. Their quality is so, so good. good. Yeah. So you can shop them now. Yeah. It's our first like business thing, really. It is. That's a deep thing that it's like obviously I've had we've had collabs with yep. different things, but like this is our our baby. Yeah. Oh it's scary. Like but I think so fun. even when we like released it and stuff, we I just feel like we're so confident of the product. Yeah. That, like I wasn't one bit like No, I'm not feel nervous. I was no. more excited to show people I'm like we've been wearing this and like working on it for so long. Yeah. I'm not hesitant with it at all. Oh, anybody not at Oh. Even when we were teasing it a little bit and mm -hmm. like the girls were texting me being like, hang on a minute, like if I hadn't filled the girls in on yeah. some of them and they were like, what's this? Like show me and if I was showing them little, I'm little buzzing snippets to show of everyone. Yeah. yeah. They were like, yeah. oh my God, unreal, want that, love that. Yeah. Like, so yeah. yeah. We're so excited. Birdhouse is now out. Yes. Um, it's just like a real, yeah. like even our shoot and stuff, we just done it on phone. Casual. Like, just really, yeah. it's meant to fit in with your day to day. Life and these and genuine, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the cutest models ever. Oh my god, our four models that helped us out with our shoots. We love oh you so god. much. Oh my god, they were just so lovely and like just so nice to be around. Yeah, they just made the shoot days. Yeah, well. and they they liked the product and they slayed. So, yeah, they absolutely slayed. So thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we have had we we're just busy. Summer's busy. If summer's over. So, Sorry, I'm calling no, it. No! I'm calling it. It's not. Ah, ah, I'm calling it summer's really? over. No, that's like the green. You're like the summer green. I really am. And I saw a TikTok. There's this fella, I need to find his name. I don't even know if I follow him. If I don't follow him, I need to follow him. There's this fella on TikTok. He, he, I think he has his own house. I'm going to say house. Could be a house. I don't know. If somebody knows who this is, can you just let me know? It's this fella on TikTok. When I tell you I want him to come in interior design... When I eventually do have a house. Wait, is he Irish? Oh, yeah, he's Irish from Dublin. Okay. He, uh, like, he, he does, like, cleaning videos and stuff, but, like, he he has a washer and a dryer out his nanny's back garden in, like, this shed, and he went in and, like, cleaned out the shed, and, like, he's just, you want to see this fella's, like, 
it's a bit of you, like it's all cream and cozy. Oh my and, God. But where I was going with that is he went into TK Maxx and they have their autumn stuff out. Yeah! No! <laughs> yeah. I can't remember his name. He came with my For You oh, page no. and I was like, oh my, I just binge watch loads of them and I forgot to follow him. So when I, when I do find him again, I'll follow it and I'll show you. But yeah, TK Maxx have their their autumn stuff I out. just can't dress for autumn. I don't like it. I, lo- I can dress better in autumn than I can for really? summer. I can't dress for summer for shit. I love summer. No. I wear nothing. Yeah, see, I sorry girl. I love having fabric on me. Can't. No, I need all the fabric. <laughs> Cover me up, please. Oh, I just feel like a jacket will ruin like a nice outfit. No, I love like... a trench coat and a pair of boots and like I love knits and scarves. I like knits. I do and... like knits. I will say. I just right love them. I think it's the colours of autumn. Yes, yeah, see, I, I'm... I love colours. No, I'm a neutral bitch. Put me in brown all day. <laughs> oh, I can't. Summer, I feel like the summer went too quick. Yeah, it did. And EP is right around the corner. EP is kind of cutting off summer because of where it is it's cutting placed. off. Yeah, but I'm it's excited. Like, yeah, that'd be good. But that's really like excited. the end of the, to me. EP means summer's over. Same because it's usually mark. yeah. And it's I always loved it at the start of September. I hope it's the same next year because I love when summer is over officially. But then you're like, oh, I still have EP to look forward to. Yeah, and you still have it. Kind of summer brings into September then. Mm-hmm. I feel like everyone's got a much different vibe this year for festivals. Do you? Everyone's more casual. Casual. Yeah. I think we're all getting... No, do you know what I think it is? We're all getting older and realising... No. Hang on a minute. No, no, no. No, it is. It's not because even at longitudes, like, people are wearing, like, just, like, more... It's It used to be all, like, glitter and sequins and, like, really out there, but now it's much more understated. And even the youngsters at longitude were... Really? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just that we have a bit more cop on to not be going around in my knickers and, like... I'm actually realising I'm going to be freezing. I'm going to be cold. Yeah, so, I can't handle the cold. Like you know I what I mean? To... Now, it, we have been good with EP that we do bring our hoodies and we go back and put on we our do. leggings and our hoodies. And I always have done that. We Yeah, yeah. we do do that. But even for like my daytime outfits, I'm going way more casual. Yeah. Need to. Comfort. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we're so ancient. We're ancient. We're ancient. God love us. <laughs> so we, myself and I have been playing for a while. We want to do an episode on engagement mm-hmm. and on weddings. And who better to have on today than two recently engaged friends of ours, Aidy and Kate and Miriam Mullins. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> I'm actually so Congratulations. Happy. Yeah, thank well. you. Congratulations. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks Yay. for having us on. Don't oh, be Thanks for coming on. Show the rings to the camera. Yeah. Okay, my nails Ring aren't reveal. done. My nails aren't done. This is my written. What? I'm like, what camera am I looking at? Sparkle, I can't look. I actually my was only clean. literally saying there, I need to get cleaned because I actually look. Do you yeah, have to give them away clean. to be cleaned? Or a fairy with well, liquid and a toothbrush? I just, I li- that's what I do, just put in like a glass of warm yeah. water. For the fairy liquid do you wear yours cheap. like all the time? Yeah. I take off I'm when I go so to the gym. I don't wear Do you not wear yours all the time? Oh, I forget to put it on. Like, I literally posted <laughs> oh, a video no. the other day and people were like, Where's your ring? And I was like, We're not broken up. Oh, my God. I'm so good. Starting from the engagement, you got engaged really close together. I think it might have been like a day or two apart. When did you get engaged? The 22nd. Of April. Oh, well then I got engaged before you. I got was engaged it? on the... No, wait, you couldn't have. I'm pretty sure you were before me. Wait, what was your date? No. I was the 20th. No, no I was, sorry, it was the 15th. Yeah, sorry. I knew it was okay, before. Because okay. I, you know what? Because I actually remember seeing it when you got engaged. And I was like, oh my God. And I was like, showing tape. And I was like, oh my God, I love Miriam got engaged. And he's like, oh, cool. And then like, he obviously... Oh, he was like, oh, yeah. me, That, no that week was like the week of influence. Oh, God. God. Everyone Three got engaged. Week. All the engagements in one week. Do you have any inkling that you were getting proposed? I had no idea. idea. Like, no, I didn't not. actually. I knew it was We need to hear year. the engagement stories. We obviously know, but for yeah. the listeners. So I do. do you want me to go? Yeah, yeah. Let us know. So the, we got engaged on like a Saturday morning, right? It was mm-hmm. literally like sunrise. We were going for a sunrise swim. So like, say a few days before, Dave texted me and he was like, oh, Aideen, and Dean and Laura want to go for a sunrise swim on Saturday. Do you want to go? And I was like, yeah, I was like, I have a boxing class booked at 10 with one of my other friends. I was like, but I could definitely do both because the sunrise is at like 10 to 6 in the morning. So yeah, I was like, I could definitely do both. Yeah. So he was just like, all right, grand. So like, whatever. We ended up going to bed really late the night before. And I knew in my head, I was like, Dave's not going to want to get up. Like, <laughs> And uh, so that morning he gets up and he's like, oh, you know, I'm wrecked. I don't know if I'm bothered going. And I was getting real thick on him. I was like, <laughs> God's sake, God's like, you're always bailing on everything. I was like, just get up. Like, and he's just like, oh, fine. Like, And like, so he's there like pottering around. Like he takes ages anyway when we're going anywhere. Like he's just doing bits all the yeah. time. So I didn't even take any notice. Like, and I was getting up, I was getting dressed. I literally threw on like, because I was doing a boxing class at 10, right? I was like, I'll wear my nice gym set to the boxing class. Mm. Like, who am I going to see on the beach? Like, at 10 to 6. So yeah. I literally threw on a pair of leggings. I had a hole in the arse of my leggings. <laughs> like, that's like the level I was at. My hair wasn't washed. Like, I was in full on like gym yeah. clothes, big jacket. 
and uh, I, I was going to put on a hat and I was like, will I wear a hat? And Dave was like, no, no, definitely don't wear a hat because he was oh. like, I was thinking after, he was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. not going to want to be standing there in a hat. Like, um, so anyway, we like got in the car. I actually drove. So yeah. like I drove myself to my own engagement. That's wow. um, And then we like pulled up. We, our friends were like waiting for us there. We all walked down to the beach. Like literally. You were we... away, were you? Was it not in no, Dublin? No, it was in Dublin. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. Um, but it was a beautiful sunrise. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah, another thing. That. Dave was checking the weather and he said like if the sunrise wasn't going to be good, he wasn't going to do, <laughs> do it. Yeah. Because sure. he was like, like he just wanted to get a really perfect yeah. sunrise for it. Um, so we were just like standing on the beach like we had Scout with us on the walk down like Scout took like three shifts like, <laughs> yeah. and it was like it was just funny like <laughs> looking back it was funny um, and then got on the beach and like I completely like fell into it and like Dave knew this was going to happen like I was like oh to our friends I was like stand there and I'll get a picture of you and he was like I knew you were going to do that yeah. right so it was like the perfect opportunity so like the sky was unreal yeah. I was just taking a picture of them and then I was like oh Laura will you get one of me and Dave and she's like perfect oh, like, great. Like, they had already yeah. like Briefed it before yeah, they were gonna it do it. It wasn't like a thing that they were like, "Oh, stand over there." And no, get it was like, me no. that did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then I just said, "Oh, here, get one of me and Dave." Like, and so we were standing there, and she's like taking photos, but she was recording as a video. Yeah. But I thought there were photos, and we're standing there, and I was like, "Oh, you're cool." And then Dave was like, "Oh, give us a look at them." And like, Dave would always do that. Like he always like checking. Photos. He's actually yeah. worse than me when it's it comes <laughs> to taking photos. Oh my god! Like people would think it's me, but he's like checking he's, like, everything. Zooming in. Literally. <laughs> um. So that again, I didn't take any notice of that. And Laura, like after Laura was like, "What the hell, Dave? Like you're stressing me. Out. Like are you going to do this or not?" And he was like, "Oh, I was just kind of playing with it a bit. Like just you know making everyone a bit nervous, yeah, <laughs> keeping yeah. them on edge." Oh, god. And then I looked and it was a video, and I was like, "Oh, I was like trying to be so nice." And I was like, "Do you want oh, to thanks so much. Again. Can you take like a photo?" I was like, "I don't really want a video." And she. Was like and then um did they know your friends they knew yeah yeah yeah. um so went back and then she was recording again and then we were like taking pictures and then dave started getting real weird and he was like he kept kind of like (laughs) pulling me in and like i hate pda like i am Mm. not a pda person like if dave is kissing me in front of my friends i'm like freaked out i'm like (laughs) stop i hate it um so he kind of kept like pulling me close and he kept kissing me and i was kind of like hey hey, yeah i'm like fully like pulling back like and then he like started getting really serious and like i had not like nothing even remotely crossed my mind up until that point okay when he started getting really like weird yeah and then he started kind of like fidgeting with his pocket and i was like surely not and I remember kind of looking and I was like he's definitely taking this like yeah. I was like no way and then he like took a box out and like got on his oh. knee and like I can't actually remember what he said like, can you not mm. no it's it's, a blur. It, it's such a blur like it's like I can picture us being there but I just can't I can picture him getting down on Winnie but I actually can't picture oh. what he said to me like, it was just shock like, I was just like what and then like I was like are you messing and then he was like no and then I don't even think I said yeah I think I said obviously <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> like, so oh, God. I was like obviously and he's like your grand and then put the ring on and when he opened the ring box so like I had always wanted to pick out my own ring mm-hmm. but I said to him I was like oh like if you're gonna propose to me I'd love it to be like a promise ring because I'd love to I'd love it to be a really nice ring that I'll still wear but yeah I really want to go and pick my own ring because yeah just me personally I'm real fussy and yeah like, you know, it's something I was going to wear forever. I was like, I wanted to make sure that I liked it. Yeah. And I also didn't want to try on rings before we got engaged because yeah. I really just didn't want to know when I was going to get engaged. Mm. Like, I just didn't want to. I wanted to be caught off guard because yeah. we're together so long that yeah. it was kind of yeah. inevitable. Like, it was Has he happen. ever, like, pretended to do it before? Like, no. Like you said, how long are you and David together? Like, a, nearly 11 years. Is it 11? Yeah. Has he ever, like, ha yeah. gotcha. Like, no. no nothing. No. But is it one of those things that people are always saying to him, like, ah, oh, David, when are you going to propose? Yeah. Do you know what? In the last, like, I'd say three years, it okay. got really irritating. Oh, really? Like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> you were like, you're in it? Couldn't go <laughs> anywhere. Like, yeah. any hotel we went to, any holiday we went to, anything, text, oh, you're definitely oh, engaged. And yeah, I was like, yeah. well, you know what? Even if I am, like, shut up. Like, yeah, shut you know, up. Yeah. Yeah. Do that to yourself. Like, I'll let you know if I am. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, no, it was, like, honestly, like, my perfect proposal. Was it? Was, yeah. Like, it's funny because I looked so in bits, but I don't care. Like, no, I'm really glad not. it happened that way because I it was, was just so, so caught off. Yeah. 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 And yeah. it was so nice. Like, so like, obviously when, sorry, when you opened the ring, it was the ring that I said, I was like, oh, I love Princess Diana's ring. I was like, but I don't think I want it as my engagement ring, but I was like, as a promise ring, yeah. like, that's something I'd love. And I had said that like, in hey, past and like yeah, ages ago yeah. so when he got down and opened the box and I saw the ring I was like oh shit I was like this is real like, he's, <laughs> not joking. he's not he's like it's that ring um, and then he was like so then our two friends ran up to their car and they had like a big bunch of flowers that like Dave Aww. had organised to like for them to have they had like champagne they had everything and then Dave was like so I booked your nails 
for 12 o'clock. He's like, I've booked three of your favorite restaurants for tonight. You need to pick what one you want to go to. Aww. He was like, and I was just like, what? What is going on? Oh, like, yeah. And then I was like, I have a gym class at 10. Like, I was like, what am I supposed to do? And he he booked my nails for 12 because he was like, I actually thought you were going to go. go. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I contemplated and I was like, fuck that. I've ever no, day off. Yeah. yeah. That would have been the best class ever. You'd be full of like, Imagine, oh my God, yeah. no, I actually, the whole day though, like you probably know yourself, it's such an adrenaline rush. It's like. such a, yeah. Oh my God, like. And I've even never. just like, were you like, I was like pausing, like when we're going to tell people, like just keep it to ourselves for a while. It was like, no, so that I wasn't like. We, we <laughs> kept it to ourselves for like an hour. And then Did I, you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was so just funny. like our little moment, like. Who yeah, was no, for, who was the first person you told? So okay, so obviously Dean and Laura were there, and then yeah. I was sitting there. My dad knew, so Dave yeah. had actually already yeah. asked my dad. Is that yeah, really, is that still a thing to do? Like, uh, like I think so. I like, think so. Yeah. To be fair, like, yeah. like yeah. I, it's something that I would have hoped Dave would have done and I knew he would yeah. he always said like yeah. Dave's actually quite like traditional like that like he Love that. he wants to be really like and guys can I just say Aiden is going to be a Kelly <laughs> <laughs> Woo! oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I yeah. are you going to take are you going to change your name I will like you will for ages before we're engaged I used to say no I'm not because I'm just I don't know just oh like god, that, I always that forget, power I'm like I'm a yeah. like, like, name yeah yeah, but I'm no, never, I probably will. Gonna, I really yeah. like the surname Kelly too. So I like it like, too. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And well, you, oh no, and I'm going to be an Indian Murphy. See, yeah. you're all from Murphy. Yeah. I'm going from Murphy to Kelly. Mad, isn't it? We're swapping. Yeah. I could double barrel it, like. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, probably, I think that's what I'm going to do. My mom double barreled yeah. hers. Like, really? Yeah. yeah. But like, she didn't inflict that on us. I'm kind of glad she didn't. Cause yeah. Imagine I had a double barrel name and then I added another one on it. Yeah. So who? Sorry, who did you? Re- I just got excited there about you being a Kelly. But who did you tell first? So my dad knew, right? Yeah. So my dad's birthday was like two weeks before, mm-hmm. and I think me and Dave were busy on my dad's birthday. We didn't see him, and Dave kept ringing my dad and was like, "Oh, I want to bring you out for dinner for your birthday." And my dad was like, well, "You're being completely over the top. Like, what the hell?" <laughs> and he's like, "No, let me bring you out." So he brought my dad out for dinner, just the two of them, and he gave him a birthday card. And then in the back of the birthday card, it like had a little note on it, like saying, "Like." Can I? Oh, yeah. it's so cute. cute. That's so sweet. Um, so my dad obviously knew. So like when we were on the beach, so like I, I Facetime my dad on the beach because he was kind of like waiting because he oh, knew it was gonna happen. Knew, yeah. So I told my dad, and then I actually rang my friend Ash, who lives in Australia, because everyone else was asleep because it was six o'clock yeah. in the morning on a Saturday. So like everyone was asleep, and Ash just randomly texted me about something like. And I was like, oh my God, she's waking. I was like, all right, I have to tell her. Like, <laughs> so I FaceTimed her and uh, that was really fun. And then I literally spent the whole day, like we stayed on the beach for a little bit. And then I spent the whole day, I went straight to my mom and dad's house. Woke up, by, everyone was asleep. It's so funny. There's a video on my Instagram. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been into your mom. I've so much stick for putting that video on my mom. I just want to let everyone know, my mom told me I could post that, okay? Like I wasn't being a bitch. <laughs> Why did you think it's like, oh, her poor, her poor mother, like, that she could have given stop. her a minute, like, and let her wake up. Oh. <laughs> I was so quiet, like. What did your mom say? I literally, then, like, jumped it? into the bed, and I was like, ma'am. And she was like, what? And, like, she was in such deep sleep, like. And I was like, oh, ma'am. And she's like, what? And I was like, I'm engaged. And she was just, like, staring at me. And she's like, no, you're not. And I was like, yeah. And she's like, what the fuck? And then, like, it took my mom a while to process, because oh. she was still asleep, like. Um, and I woke my brother up. My sister was already up. And then literally spent the whole day like driving around to all my friends, like just surprising them. It was oh, like, I love there's a video that. on my Instagram. It was actually, that was probably my favorite part of the day telling people like was yeah. it because it's so nice when you see how happy people are for, for you. you it yeah. actually just makes you feel so special. Like yeah. it's just like, yeah. 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 And then, yeah. So that was it. We went out for dinner that night and then we went to Adair for two nights. On so the day after, you. Oh, was, like, cool. yeah, David just booked that on a like. Did he, he had it booked. He had it all. Yeah. Right. Tell you what, so he kept hitting me like we're on the beach, and he's like, "Have your nails? Have dinner?" Mm. And then he was like, "Oh yeah, and we're going to a dare management." I was like, "What? That's like the dream." <laughs> cool. yeah. yeah, I know it was yeah. perfect. Like honestly, it was. Yeah. And it was your calendar free and all, or did you have to change things? Around no, I was. Like, we had that was my like one weekend. I had nothing, nothing on, so on. hence the fact I had like no tan. I hadn't washed my hair because I was like, I've nothing on this weekend. Like it's I don't. I'm not gonna do yeah. one. Yeah, like, but it doesn't matter. No, we just yeah. it was worth it. It was fine. Oh, <laughs> very so beautiful. What was your engagement? So we were in South Africa because we yeah. kind of go every two years. So it was my third time there, and the first two years, Tian used to take me on a safari. Mm-hmm. He was like, this year we'll do just something a bit different. Like yeah. we, we've done, we've done the safaris. Like they're like. Have you ever done one? No. Oh, oh, so I need to say. Yeah. yeah so so. God, like oh. unreal. So he was like, we're going to stay in like a penthouse, like suite on the, so in South Africa, there's like, it's called Camps Bay. It's actually, it's actually like, it looks like LA. It's unbelievable. It's wow. like a load of rich houses. And uh, it was literally like 300 euro for the night. Cause like over there, it's like way cheaper. Wow. So like what we'd pay here in a normal room. 
yeah, literally yeah. pay for like yeah, five, like six star yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So he, the weather was like really bad and he was like, he was like really panicking all day. I was like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, because we went from one apartment to the other. So we were only staying there one night. And when we got there, it was like the staff were acting like really strange. Mm. I was like, what the fuck's going That's on? They all knew. They all knew. Like, oh, shit. Yeah, because they like had one of the rooms in our, in the penthouse like closed because okay. there was like champagne and like stuff in it. So when we got up to the room, like it was unreal. Now it was like a view over the beach and stuff. It was so nice. And like, I don't know, I just, I, I kind of had a feeling that there was Did something you? going on. I, but then again, I was like, no, nah, like I didn't want to think about Leave it. Leave it. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. he told me to like dress up and stuff. He was like, oh, we're going to have like a really nice dinner. And it was like four o'clock in the day. And I was like, what the hell? But the weather was like really bad. So that's when I kind of knew I was like, hey, something's a bit up here. So he was like waiting and waiting. He was like, hey, we, we need to make TikTok because we were doing, you know, that trend. And it's like you do the outfits every yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. The little hat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we are, it was in front of Lion's Head, which is like a famous mountain in like Africa. So um, we did it in front of that. And then we like were filming the video. And then that's when he proposed. Mm. It was so nice. Your video yeah. is so cute. You actually genuinely I was in shock. shocked. Yeah, you oh. did. I was yeah. pure shocked. I was like, what the hell? But it actually, it was just, do you know what? It was just such a lovely, like, thought because yeah. I begged him. I was like, whenever you get engaged, like, please don't do it in public. Like, oh, I would me Really? Me oh, too. I would, I would actually want the ground to swallow me. Oh my like, God, no. I want you. everybody there. No. Really? Like, but like, random people. No, not random people, but I I always said that if when I get engaged, I want my family to, if I get engaged on holiday, I oh, want him to surprise me with my family. Oh yeah, that's nice. No, yeah. that's nice. But like, I think like, no offense to anyone, but like a restaurant just something stressful. Yeah, no, oh my God. Jesus, no. Like strangers. Yeah. No, no, no. What do you do then? Just sit down and finish your meal? Know, I'd be so stressed. Yeah, I'm no. sure it's lovely though. And like not to take away from anyone. No, that, if like, that's for you, that's for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, each to their would own. That be my worth. I yeah. love ones yeah. where it's like in, in front of the Eiffel Tower and all. I love Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. no... But I wouldn't want it for me. I don't yeah, think. but they're yeah. lovely too. But actually, like, I, don't I don't know. Also, in saying that though, I think like... You wouldn't actually care because when no, it happens, everything around you is like locked out, is it? Like, yeah. Is it? Yeah, like I, yeah, I don't even know what he said to me. Yeah, <laughs> and he, to bless him, like he had the ring a year. Did right? he? Oh, God. Wow. Yeah, because when he, so the year previous, he was over when his mom was sick. Okay. So she actually picked out the ring before she passed away. Oh, that's oh, cool. yeah. Yeah. so cute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So because uh, I was like, I'm not fussy at all. I was like, look, I just want like whatever you think is nice. Like I'm like whatever. Like because yeah. he kind of been saying it. Like he'd been kind of giving off. Like oh yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And we were like talking about it and stuff. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah, you yeah. kind of have those conversations. Oh yeah, you do definitely. Yeah. Like. That's so and nice. She answered, That's really yeah. special. That was so, like, so nice. And it's, yeah. it's like really sentimental. Yeah. And like, yeah. yeah, it means something to you. And yeah. who was the first person you rang? So yeah, my dad knew. My mom knew as well. Because my you? dad fucking can't keep a secret. <laughs> oh, my dad's the exact same. My yeah. dad. Oh my god, my dad told no. Yeah. Did he no. Know? My mom my dad was like, tell everyone. I can't believe you fucking did that. <laughs> yeah. And my dad rang me. So we got engaged at like four o'clock and my dad rang me at two and he's like, How are you? And I was like, Good. He's like, Any news? I was oh like, no. oh, did you think you already got it? Yeah. Because see, Tian was planning to do it at one, but because the weather the was so okay. bad, he like had to wait like three hours. And my dad was like, any news? I was like, no. And he was like, what are you up to? Like, just ask me. And then he, I rang him after and he was like, fuck's sake. He was like, I was waiting all day. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Is there a time difference in South Africa now? They're just an hour ahead. Oh. Yeah. It's only an hour ahead. That's that you're only going straight down. down. That yeah. blows my mind. Yeah. It's so far away. No, But it's an hour. Might, like, Disaster. Yeah. And you was met in, you were working in America, weren't you? So yeah, you we were. So he was my manager. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God, wait, where? I'm sorry, I <laughs> don't know. Manager. So I, so sorry, I moved over, it was 2019, okay. November 2019. I was just like, I just went out. I was like, yeah, good yeah. luck. I'd been like, I'd actually been trying to like do social media for like three years. It wasn't fucking working for okay. me. I was like, okay, I, I'm done with this shit. Like I'm yeah. going away. So I got the job over there because I've been working in hospitality while I was like, you know, like trying to do like yeah. YouTube and stuff like that. What part age. of America did you move to? Uh, Florida. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love Florida. Mm, it was yeah. literally the best experience ever. It was a golf course you, you mm. lived on. Or it reminds me of like high school movies. Yeah. Like, that's they all go. Like, yeah. <laughs> so we were, I worked in a country club. It was for very wealthy resident, like mm. wow. um, retired Americans. Wow. What part of so Florida like, was it? Um, Boca West in Florida. Oh. Just outside. It's just outside Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very so near they, Miami. They yeah. have to be retired to go there? Like... So like yeah, but they're wow. really like really wealthy, like extreme. Like they treated us like shit. Like oh, did yeah, they? but it was funny. Like, tips or oh, we didn't get cheap like tips at all. You didn't get so tips? we because it was through an agent. We were on eleven dollars an hour. It was actually slave labor. I'm not even gonna lie to you. 
Oh and God. we'd start to work at nine some days and finish at like 12 at night. Like it was oh. really... And no really, tips. No tips, no, no. But you're... they're all rich. Yeah, rich yeah. People are rich because they're... So the rich not say, rich. Do, do they <laughs> yeah. tip and you don't get to keep them? So like at the end of the evening, you get like your, your bill or your check, whatever. And you'd have all your checks and you'd like put them into the system. And there was one night I made like $600 in tips. But and you didn't get them? No, it goes towards your accommodation, apparently. Uh, so Apparently. Apparently, yeah. yeah. And then so Tian was yeah. your manager. And then yeah. how did you just like... And you so, were in from there. with the man. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I was working in a in a steakhouse restaurant. So mm. we'd, I'd work from four until 12. But there'd be the odd day that you'd go to a different restaurant and you'd okay. do a double shift. So you do it like three days a week. So I did the first two weeks in my restaurant and then I moved to his restaurant for like the double shifts. Mm. And it was like my first day I met him and I was like, oh, he's kind of handsome, whatever. But I was really like, I was really not, I didn't want a relationship because yeah, yeah, yeah. there was just so many different people. Like there was Italians, Americans, South Africans, Irish. Like I was just like, I do not want a long distance relationship. Yeah. 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 And my plan was to only do one season there anyway, which was November to June. So, um, yeah, but then like things like we just became really good friends and yeah. And Isn't it mad it. like thinking that if the first time you met him back then that you'd be getting married to him? Like, oh my God, it's crazy. Crazy. It's crazy. It? But like the thing is over there, everything happened so quick. Like quickly, I yeah. literally yeah. said it's like Love Island because you work together, you live together. Yeah. yeah. Fucking they become together. your family as yeah. well, don't they? Because you're like yeah. all just together. Like, yeah. Yeah. Time, yeah. And I was really homesick at the start as well. I was really missing home because my childhood dog who I had for 18 years was really sick. Aww. And like, yeah, but he, while I was there, he passed away, but it was actually, in a way, it was kind of good because yeah, yeah. I was I've really heard distracted. That, yeah, or that if if you're away from home, it kind of suits, not suits you a bit better, but like, it'd be harder kind of you if you were. Take yourself yeah. out of the situation, yeah. Yeah. kind of like you're yeah. distracted. Yeah. Oh my God, guys, scared sick at the moment and I'm so stressed. Oh no. So sad. Oh. Is he? No, he was going to be fine. Like, so Is he? Funny. What's but, wrong with Scout's eye? I saw you put it up on Instagram one day. Oh, he has a thing called like cherry eye. It's what? Like I've seen that in post. Like it happens in Golden Retrievers. It's, it's like, actually so cute. Though. What is yeah. it? It's basically like a gland in his eye. Basically, the vet told us his eyeballs are too small for his eyelids. So oh, a little... Oh, I know. Oh, small <laughs> I know. So it, like a little gland pops out and it actually popped out for the first time on the beach when we got engaged. So weird. Oh, really? And, yeah. He was excited. Yeah, he literally was. He was so excited. Um, he has to get a little surgery now to get everything. Oh. He's grand. Oh God, love him. Why is he sick now? What's wrong with him now? I don't know. He's, we brought him to the vet yesterday. He's just like not eating and whatever. But like they did loads oh. of tests and like they said he's mm. grand. It'll just pass. But it's so sad. Sorry, just like completely off topic here. It's <laughs> like having a child though. No, like, it really? is. Like I actually felt like I was going to start crying yesterday yeah. when he wasn't well. I was like, I can't do this. And yeah. have you, ever, you have a dog as well. I do, Lucy. Have you, my uh, yeah, have you thought about Lucy and Scout being involved in the wedding? Yeah. Oh, like, Lu that Lucy is walking down the aisle <laughs> oh. shadow of a dog my, so you're not allowed to have dogs in churches okay but okay. my uncle is a priest right lovely so I literally said to him I was like I, I don't care I was like that dog is walking down the aisle and he was like get her little dress <laughs> he's like I'll lose my job over you and all I was like no but she is walking down the aisle Aww. that's what's a classic Irish I love like, it yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah yeah. That's that's yeah that's so have you decided you're getting married in a church I think so yeah, yeah. In, our, in yeah. Ireland yeah, our plans have all just gone like they've have literally they? done a three sixty during the last week because really? yeah, because we South Africans now need a visa for Ireland. Oh, so we were going to do Spain, and then we were like, no, we'll do Ireland because it'll just be easier for his family to come here. But yeah. they're literally bringing in a law next week that they can't come here now. Like they have to. Have can a visa. they not? Like, can they come on a holiday visa? No, no, they can come here ninety days visa free, but now they they need a visa. What? Yeah, so. Even if someone's getting married in their family, like yeah, yeah, that's crazy. So are you gonna have to get married in South Africa now? I'd say or they we'll, just can't come. we'll do actually both. do Spain now or something like will that. Will you? Oh, grand. Yeah. Okay. My my parents will not fly that far down. Unfortunately, will they not? No, they won't. And when are you, when are you thinking? What year? Do you know? Twenty twenty six or twenty twenty seven, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like okay. two years. -ish, yeah, three. Years. What are you thinking, Aiden? We are so we're just back from viewing venues. Yeah, Spain actually. Yeah, so. We um we picked our venue. You picked it all. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations! Honestly, that was so fun. Was it? Oh, so, like, yeah. now, to be fair, the one we were after picking is the one that we originally were flying over to see. Okay. But okay. Yeah. I was kind of like, I don't want to just rule everything out, so we yeah, do yeah. like four. Because I was like, Might might as well. Well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they're all gorgeous. Like, I can mm. give you recommendations. Please do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> honestly, like they're so so nice. And um, the one that we picked is the one that we flew over for. Like, so yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's quite a that, cheaper to do it over there, isn't it? It is it. Uh, like, 
you definitely will spend the same amount of money. Like you're, I don't think you're saving money, but your money goes a lot further. Right. Yeah. yeah. You, you, get, you get more, more for more it. Bad, more your money. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you get like you know like the free bar and it just it it's just definitely goes further. Guaranteed weather yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 But um. Yeah, very Are close. you 2025? 2026. Yeah. Okay. It's too close yeah. for 2025. No, it's, it's actually impossible. We're basically yeah. in, in the year. end of this year now. No, literally. Like, that's why I like, yeah. and even because we have not a wedding time. planner and no. she was like, Mm-mm. don't do it to yourself. Yeah. At least 2026, we've choice for everything. And yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Have you picked bridesmaids and stuff? Or are you do? Are you doing bridesmaids? Well, I'm definitely having bridesmaids. You are. Um, yeah. I know who they're going to be by the oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they know. Do <laughs> they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my friend asked me to be her bridesmaid last night and like, she's literally I been saw, my best friend yeah, since yeah. like 12 and like the car just like, I know this isn't a surprise. Just oh, okay. <laughs> just, just, so, wait, is it hard, hard picking them? Is there people that you're like, oh, like, will you I have ask them without the... Yeah. So like, yeah. I'm kind of lucky. I have one sister. Yeah. Um, and then I have Michael. three, yeah. and I have yeah. three best yeah. friends. Okay. So it kind of worked out perfect for okay, me. Like it's, I don't have a massive, um, like I have loads of friends, but like my closest girls, mm, like yeah. there's only four there's, of us. Mm. So like it kind of just worked out Makes well. Sense. I think it'd be very hard if I had a massive friend group yeah. having to pick someone and leave someone out. That would actually kill me. Like. I know. Yeah. So it just kind of yeah. worked out well. And yeah. like, it, it's kind of funny, like, like out of the four of us, the two, two girls are engaged. Well, sorry. Jess got married last year. Mm-hmm. She has one sister and had the three of us. Neve's getting married next year. She has one sister and is having us. And then, so it's oh kind of like God, the same. Wow. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. So it kind of just worked out well for us. So we're just rotating. Like, like that's yeah. That's yeah. so cute. Yeah. I asked you me, asked your girls, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. Oh, I saw that. Oh, I've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah, did yeah. it straight away. I was like, girls, I need help. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my own help life. plan. So yeah, my two best friends are my maids of honor. And then I'm going to have like two bridesmaids as well. Yeah. Fab, Maybe please. Tian's sister. Let's mm-hmm. see how people are with me <laughs> next year. And then just judging the water. Yeah. Can I just, one thing I actually just want to say have you noticed people coming out of the woodwork since you got engaged? <gasps> really? Oh, what, what do you mean? That, like, oh, like old friends people coming back? All of a sudden making a huge effort. Like, <gasps> oh, yeah. I, I have to say, I actually haven't noticed that. Stop Someone that sent thing. me flowers. Someone I was in school with that I literally haven't spoke to in like three years. <laughs> a Fishing big book in flowers. <laughs> Do you reckon she wants to, to the house? Trying to bribe you to and so, be a bride. So the name was on it. And I was like, I know three of the, I'm not going to say the name. No. Because, yeah, yeah. And I know three girls with that name. And yeah, I was like, yeah. which one of them is it? Because I'm not close oh, to any shit. of them. Oh, I was like, fuck. what the fuck was it? And she was texting me then on Instagram being like, did you get the flowers? <gasps> I was like, oh, it was you. <laughs> but like, Stop. Yeah, but so people just... come out of the woodwork when they see yeah, engagement because they're thinking so maybe. Random. They want the info. Unless she just loves sending flowers. I mean, it could I feel like I know nice shit. Yeah, yeah I then I was like, because that's it's so thoughtful. Like I was I know. literally. I don't know. Would you like send flowers. somebody flowers if they got engaged and you haven't talked to them in three or four years? Personally, no. I would. No, personally, I wouldn't. No, I'm people honestly, love, I'm desperate. Some people love a flower, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they were so, gorgeous. They're yeah. actually gorgeous. <laughs> no, I planted them herself. I have to say though, like, like just funny. Like they're obviously trying to full set an invite to the wedding. Yeah. Like we just started writing up a list like that. It's so hard. Is it's it so stressful? Oh, really? Yeah, we were talking to Erin. Yeah, last week's episode, and she said Erin was actually texting me the other day about it, and she's really? she, she's like giving me advice. She was like, "Be rootless with your list." Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, I know. how do you okay, feel about like? How do you feel about plus ones? So your friend, you invite one of your girlfriends. She has a new boyfriend that you've never met before. How do you feel about like your friends getting plus ones and bringing someone like yeah. that? I'm not. How really, does it work? I'm not against a plus one. Like, Are you not? Like I, I wouldn't be. Yeah. I wouldn't be inviting someone for the sake of it. But like I think, especially for a destination wedding, like mm-hmm. if if I know my friend who's going, like she doesn't have anyone to bring, and that she's gonna be with a group of people, I'd, it's fine. But if she's gonna be yeah. by herself, 100%, oh yeah, 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 yeah I agree. Yeah. Like I'm not really. I'm not really against the plus one thing, but then the only thing is like all your plus ones add up and like everyone costs money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah. it's it's a massive cost. Like it it's given me a new perspective of how grateful I am when I get invited to a wedding. Aaron said the mm. same thing. Yeah. Because yeah, like said, you so realize. much goes into it. Like uh, We thought that wedding meals cost. I thought a uh, wedding meal was 80 I euro. 100 euro. Girl, no. It's like wow. two or three hundred. Yeah. Like, it's, like, it's, it's a basic meal. Though. I don't get it. Well, oh. it includes like like most of the time it includes like you know like the drinks with the meal. Oh, and, like, right. the little, okay. You know, like the they go around topping up your get, wine and stuff, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like, okay, okay, depends obviously where you get married. Yeah, stuff, but yeah. you know it's so expensive. But even like I was at my friend's wedding literally two weeks ago, and I was like, "What do you give as a wedding present these uh, days?" Yeah. yeah, and someone was like, "You have money to give, is like two hundred and fifty, three hundred euro." Like, yeah. yeah, Jesus, yeah. I've been cheap then. No, per couple. I I think that. 
per couple, yeah, per couple, yeah, per couple, couple. Yeah, 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 like not per person. Okay, because yeah. weddings are so expensive as well to go to, like, yeah, yeah. it's actually talking it about is. so expensive. Like, you drop in the house, you stay in the night, getting, getting your outfit, everything. your hair, yeah. your makeup, yeah. like, everything, yeah. even to be a guest is expensive. Yeah, so I can only imagine what it'd be like to be a bride. Yeah, Jesus. Then, like, yeah. uh, like, Dave is so practical, like, is he so practical? I'm so like, fuck it, it's fine, yeah. let's figure it out. Like, and he's yeah, like, yeah. I need. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but like, I want such a big wedding, and he's like, so do I. He's like, but rein yourself in. He was like, yeah. let's be realistic about it as well. Like, not the, yeah. Yeah. everything. Is yeah. there anything, any ideas for the wedding that have come and gone in your head? Like, is there anything that you have thought to do for the wedding and then been like, actually, hold on, I'm not gonna do that? No, not really. Like, like me and Dave are very on the same page with mm. everything. Like, that's good, especially when it comes to the wedding. Like, we both mm. want the exact same thing, mm -hmm. so that's been really nice. And like what we've always wanted is kind of what we're after booking good nice. so like yeah. it's yeah no we haven't worked out yet that. though like I mean things could change yeah like, so then like would. things that we want might not be realistic yeah, yeah. we'll just have to wait yeah like I've had people tell me like don't spend all your money on this like like you know flowers for a wedding I was just gonna oh, say God, so girls they die I'm like, sorry they die five and a half grand wow like, I think they look really nice right but I don't I love candles Oh, are you yeah. a candle girl? Oh, I, candle oh, I like kind of that. Girl. Like, do you ever see like candles like up the, up the aisle? Yeah. yeah. In a swimming pool and like. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we <laughs> know you're laughing, but like two but, like, years time yeah, now you'll yeah, see yeah. that on my Instagram. But like lit, but it's day in the daytime. It's fine. Or nighttime. We'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll get some blackout blinds. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Are you going to do outdoors? Do you think the whole thing is going to be outdoors? Okay. Yeah, for the venue. And then like you have to move in after like 12 o'clock. Candles look mm -hmm. nice though even when they're not lit just lift it all melted and wax. Yeah. But like you know even in those like kind of like glass, glass like yeah. lantern yeah. things. Yeah. Like, I love that vibe. Yeah, that's beautiful. You know, it's probably the same prices. I don't think it'd be cheaper than the flowers. But Please have your candles. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> Pennies girl. if you want to sponsor my yeah. wedding. <laughs> sponsor my wedding. Um, but yeah. And what about dress ideas? Yeah, have you gone looking oh, for any dresses? I I know exactly what Really? Yeah. yeah, I'm getting my dress made. Oh, love yeah. that. Yeah. That's literally the only thing I have sorted as my okay. dress. And is this, like, was this dress idea something you've always had or only since you got engaged? Yeah. It's, like, it's very similar to a certain, it's like a very well-known dress. Okay. Okay. Um, it's, I, I don't, I don't mind, I'll say it. Really Hayley Bieber, is it Hayley Bieber? No, it's no. no Kate Middleton's dress. I knew oh, you were going to say that. Oh, that was like oh, the favorite. Oh, that's the no, Not yeah. the same, not the same. Okay, Very similar vibe though. Yeah. So real like classic. Yeah. Like oh, my yeah. vibe. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Love it. Yeah. Maybe with a bit of like Vera Wang vibes going on as well. Do you know the little... Unreal. Know, we'll Unreal. Say. Who's that making it for There's a bridal shop uh, in my local town. Oh, yeah. Who nice. reached out to me. So I... See, the thing is, I'm like, have you been reached out to by brands to do collabs? I'm just so... For a like, wedding. Yeah. I'm like saying no to things. Yeah, because me too. I'd be the same, yeah. You have an expectation mm -hmm. then. Is and it? then it becomes yeah, work. work. And it's your wedding. It's your you personal yeah. life. You're yeah. looking for the way content you do on the day of your wedding. Like, Magic, you know? can you send that over for approval <laughs> yeah. there? So I'm just yeah, going be like, on the aisle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, no. Just about to go yeah. aisle. No, I'd be like, I kind of, if if it worked out that it suited my plan... Then yeah. happy days, but, but you're not going out your way. No, I but what think could you? So. Is it like flowers and stuff like that that they're reaching out for, or like yeah. your dress like that? I've got, yeah. I've got a lot of like bridal shops reaching have out. You? Being like, have you? Can we have you in to try dresses? But I, I just kind of was like, I'll revisit this in a year. Yeah, like, yeah, because you don't. Try I have it. no. Give idea me some time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. not now. Yeah. You've known in your head, like I. I didn't like it's so funny like I could picture my whole wedding except for my dress like okay. I have no idea what I want but now that I've kind of been my whole like explore page on that, Instagram yeah. it's yeah. just wedding mm, yeah. and I definitely have an idea of the kind of dress that I want, mm -hmm. but like not exactly. Okay. Pinterest is like yeah. the best thing ever. Is that yeah. Oh my god! Like I yeah. literally use it now for everything. Yeah. But I find if I look up anything on it, it's oh my god! I just love it. Like, Don't so a lot good. of people so. say that when you go wedding dress shopping you should always try on dresses that you'll be like ew I'd never wear that that's yeah, what I want to yeah, do I want yeah. to try on everything. everything I can imagine you in like a ball get a gown like a poof really yeah, yeah. That but like a really classic on top but like a nice like yeah, yeah like, like I'm not that. against like a big love. dress yeah like, me neither like I think I'm I'm kind of also like now I haven't told Dave this is going to kill me when I this <laughs> I kind of want two dresses do it oh please. yeah, do yeah. It. no yeah. Dave is like yeah. 18 no yeah. wedding yeah. budget you get married once I really want to do you know two I mean? and not because I'm like oh everyone like look at me I'm so extra because honestly from chatting to my friends who've got married Comfort. they're like when you're like I um, like I will be on the dance floor I will be the last yeah. you'd ruin dance. it like you can't move and they were all yeah. like we were so uncomfortable in yeah. our outfits so I'm like then I could maybe I could get a real big dress 
walk up the aisle, have that thing change into like a party outfit. Love, like, yeah, like dance love. On. Did you see? Yeah. yeah, did you yeah. see Molly May's sister did it? Yeah, well? yeah. gorgeous. Done, yeah. Her wedding, yeah. Her wedding, her wedding look, look, yeah. Done her wedding was yeah. so fab. I love that though, because then as well, you're preserving your wedding dress too. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you don't <laughs> know what, the, what, it, yeah. the, yeah, what the, it, the bottom of it would be like. No, literally. literally. I mean, yeah. It's going to get wrecked. No yeah. Matter what, like. mm. Do you, do you know feel what? like a pressure with having a following on Instagram and, mm. and the wedding? Like, do you think you'll have like someone doing content on the day? Like, will you post on <laughs> I the know day? What mean. But like, what do? is that? I don't think I'm going to post on the day. No. I think no. I'll be putting my phone. I actually think I'll be turning my phone off that day. Yeah. Because yeah. like, you just don't want to be like I know like right this is obviously our lives and stuff but yeah. like you want to just, just like be in the moment for yeah. it and like and that well that's why your own wedding is just hire yeah, someone yeah. who's doing like do you know people who do kind yeah of like I bet, so I they're doing all exactly the I think yeah. I will just do that and yeah. like I'll know in my head what kind of photos that I want to have whether I yeah. post them or not is, I'll figure that out mm-hmm. in the, the days after do you know then. Mary Claire Fitzpatrick she got married like Two months ago, maybe. Mm-hmm. I well, I met her at Longitude. She makes like videos on TikTok and Instagram. Oh, but yeah. she um got married in like a forest. It actually looked wow. Unreal. She walked the dog down. It was literally <gasps> like my oh, yeah. Dream. yeah. But she told me at Longitude. She's like the one thing that I'd recommend for you to have is just somebody doing like content behind the scenes. Yeah, just for yourself, yeah. even right. Just, like yeah. you said, because, because even perfect you. weddings that aren't influencers, they're just so cute. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. literally, because yeah. like a lot of the time you don't get your videos and your photos back from the professional yeah. for, for months. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like imagine, mm-hmm. like I love, like the next day, like looking at all my pictures. Yeah, yeah, I love them to take my phone. Over, just so like, not, like just have, no, literally, yeah. that's what I might yeah. do. Actually, I might just give someone my phone. Yeah, yeah. like right, yeah. you are the content creator. Yeah, just yeah. take as much as yeah. you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and is it an un? Sorry, is it an unwritten rule? Is like, is this? Can we all agree on this? Because I only learned this oh, not too long ago. Oh yeah, two oh, unwritten okay. rules. <laughs> How do you feel about phones like as you're walking up the aisle, right? Because I see TikToks and they piss me off. Mm, yeah. And then also, is it just a normal wedding unwritten rule that you don't post the bride before she posts? I, I only found so. this out. Some people that don't like, know the rule, but this, I think it should the be. The ceremony, personally, I would prefer people didn't have their phones purely yeah, for the reason that when you get your photos back from the photographer and oh, everyone phones. has it, and you know when you get the old ones yeah. with the iPads. You're, I, you're I, second I be, Auntie Mary hanging out the aisle. No, literally. Like, <laughs> literally. <laughs> like, and like, it's obviously so nice that they don't take photos. Oh, but like, so I just nice. would prefer like, just because I want to have nice photos. You're paying so much for photographers that like, you want to mm. have your photos perfect. Like, yeah. So uh, yeah. I'd be against that. And then I would never post a bride until no, either they've oh. said you can post me up yeah. or they've posted. I, I, do you know what? I always ask. Do you? Yeah. Any wedding I've been to, that's my friends. I'll always either yeah. like say to their face or text them like do you mind if I post this or would you prefer me not to okay. and mm-hmm. I'll leave it up to them because some people don't, don't want, want their wedding care. for thousands of people to see True, course, yeah. and so, some yes. people don't care so you I have just to take, always yeah, ask I suppose you have to take it into account the fact that we do have uh, Instagrams that or whatever yeah. Yeah. Like, I think it's scary though like do you ever like look at your story views and be like holy fuck like if you act, like you get yeah. almost so used to just seeing a figure yeah. that okay. you're like Okay, but and then you like, think of how many people that is, you're like, yeah. And then oh, you go post on your friend's God. wedding and they all look at that and then yeah. she's thinking, yeah. Oh God, I didn't want all them to see that. No, li- exactly. Yeah, so I'll always are private. Yeah. Like you're more, I you're like more. anything I do that like if, if I'm doubting posting it, I'm that like, I no. need to uh, ask. Yeah. 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 100%. And most time you you're like, like yeah, of course, but just yeah, yeah, I'm the yeah, same yeah. to be honest. Are you? Like yeah. I like I not in the church anyway, after whip it out do Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I don't mind. We should clip Miriam saying that after you can just whip it out. That's a good clip there, Miriam. Well done. <laughs> Love that. Oh, um, but yeah, no, like not, no, not in the church. So no. I don't know. I just think yeah. it's a holy place. Like, yeah, it kind of takes, it kind of takes away yeah. from it. Like, you think? Yeah. yeah. Is there any anything on the day that like you definitely really want to happen and really don't want to happen? Mm. Like a big no, no for you and something that is a must. Mm. I'm so unsure about having kids at my wedding. Oh, and, oh this is a good one. Yeah. yeah. Good one. Like, How do you feel about that? No, I do actually know. I am having a page wine flower girl. Yeah. Okay. And I do know who they are, but they don't know who they are. And their mo- I think their mother kind of knows like that okay. they're going to No, I think but, I know who they are. Do you? Well, I don't know. So yeah, I know who my page wine flower girl are, okay. but I'll have them and then maybe one or two others but other than that I'm just not sure I don't know because yeah. I have a lot of like like I have a lot of cousins and second cousins yeah I'm the same you know and yeah. I just, yeah. I don't know. well uh, yeah like especially I, the fact yours is abroad how do you feel yeah, about that yeah well like I think in terms of kids like we're only going to there's a select few kids that will Hello. be there that yeah. like just that kids that me and Dave would have like a relationship with and yeah. then, like we are going to have flower girl page boys probably going to be a few haven't asked them yet oh <laughs> They probably know who they are, but um, yeah, like I'm. They're the only kids that'll be on my wedding. Yeah, 
people, the kids that would be like involved. Yeah. How yeah, do you, yeah. how do you say to people no kids? I think you just put it on your invite. Is it okay? No like mm. I don't think it's an ex an expectation. No, I think I don't feel like we've only uh, ever been to we went. Well, I've only been to that one wedding. Oh I yeah. Imagine well, a lot of parents want the night off. I don't think there was any. Yeah. Want to go mm. on Most day. times there's not, isn't there? Yeah. Kids. That's why I also sorry I'm also leaving it like kind of open ended like if you want your kids to come they yeah. can come because we want them to be part of yeah like, so if course. you don't want it there's no pressure like, yeah not okay. like a niece or nephew it's a bit different yeah 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 my niece yeah, mine. Yeah. but like your cousin's kids like kind of thing See, I'm like... really cl- like my cousin's daughter is my godchild okay so like Aww. They will all be at my wedding. Yeah, yeah. It depends on how close you are. If exactly. my cousins it's are listening to this, I love your kids. Don't be sick. like I'm. I'm. I'm <laughs> it's I really just use that as an though. example. <laughs> no, but it's re- like it's just about everything. It's like yeah. I feel like you're gonna piss people off no matter what when you're popular. You are. You're gonna. You're not gonna, gonna please like, everyone. Like someone's not gonna be there, and they're gonna be ex- of. A, I feel like also people can be entitled. Not and everyone's like, understanding. Yeah. Not everyone's like, gonna be like, oh yeah, I get why they're doing this. Like until they're in the position, maybe. Yeah. Even then they still people still don't. It's just so hard because it can get so out of control. Like I would yeah. like to keep it like it won't be like a small wedding, but like a relatively like average size wedding, like yeah. I don't know, like 120, 130 people. Yeah. But mm-hmm. like it can get so out of hand. Like, yeah. Oh, it know. can just run away no, on you. Like just think, on your list and I'm just like, how are we gonna do this? Yeah. Yeah. That would give me anxiety. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All ahead of us first. Please fucking God. <laughs> Jeez. What about you? <laughs> We're gonna oh, go one into day. some dilemmas. Yes. So our secrets and stalls is where we give advice to people listening and these are wedding related. Okay. These can help because we don't have any experience on this. Okay. Okay. Hi girls. Absolutely love the podcast. My dilemma is about my boyfriend's sister. Oftentimes I felt my boyfriend's sister being very cold at me. I don't come from a big family and I've always wanted a sibling myself so this hurts. We're polar opposites. One quite girly, one quite nerdy so I find it hard to have things in common with. They have sometimes said bitch to me or joked They've something said bitch to me or joked to my boyfriend about silly things I've said. I don't feel like we're close enough for the sister to comment as such and actually find it a bit offensive. The sister has moved out of the family home so I find it hard to reach out as there would be no reason for us to communicate without it being weird. My boyfriend's sister just got engaged and I wasn't asked to be a bridesmaid. Normally I would understand but she, but she's been saying that she doesn't have many friends to choose from. It's not like she's full of opinion options and has to make the hard decision. This really hurt me as myself and her brother have moved, have been together a long time. I think to me, it proved distance between us and showed she possibly has doubts about me and her sibling. How do I become closer with her? I really do love her and would love to spend more time with her. Am I reading too much into this? Thank you. So is she upset that she didn't get asked to be a bride? Yeah. Thing? Yeah. But did she say at the start that she wasn't close with her? Yeah. Yeah. But she, want, she wants, she wants to be, close, to be with her. close with her. I mean, it's it's hard. Like sometimes you can't force things. Yeah. But then I suppose you probably just need to make that bit of an extra effort. Like, you know... Yeah. Organized to do things with Make yeah. Because sometimes you're day. you're put with someone, but you might not necessarily ever naturally even exactly ever mm-hmm. yeah, yeah yeah yeah. Especially when it's like family. Yeah like, yeah. Like, it's hard. Like it is hard. It is. You, it's difficult. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to feel like it's forced, but I mean, if it was me, I'd probably just like organize to do things that Something like where. I don't know. Go for dinners. Like yeah. Go for to whatever. Yeah. Go not to a life like force. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean, like, because sometimes like people just don't click. Like, yeah. That, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. It, it doesn't yeah. mean you're like beefing. Like, yeah. Like, it doesn't mean she disapproves of of you and her brother. Yeah. yeah. At all. I don't. I don't know though. The fact that like they they don't get along. I don't know. Should she have expected to be asked to be a bridesmaid? Yeah, that's what confused me because she yeah. said they weren't that close. And also because it's your brother's sister. Kind of thing. I don't know. Like when boyfriend's I, sister or boyfriend's uh, sister. Yeah. It's like your brother's yeah, sister. Yeah, she get your brother's your sister. sister. Like, do not marry your brother's sister. <laughs> it's panic, illegal. Panic mode of it as well. Like yeah. I, I was a bit with Tian. Tian is a sister as well, and mm. like I'd message her there, and like she wouldn't message me back and stuff, and I'd be like, she fucking hates me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your but, brain just goes there. Yeah, it yeah. does. But then when we went to South Africa, and like I was with her and stuff, like she was literally just like, no, I'm just so bad on my phone. And, and like, people are to be fair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm one of them sometimes. So what would you? I think her she said she said herself, "Am I reading too far into this?" I think Jeez. I think she's taken not being asked as right away too personal, I too agree. literal as like she doesn't want you to be in the family. And that's course, I feel like my head would probably yeah. Your head does do them things. And go no, there. I agree. So I, I think, but I think you need someone else to tell you that it's not as deep as you think, mm. as you're feeling 100%. that it is. Yeah. Like yeah. you know, maybe she wants to keep it small and she has her yeah. her people that she yeah. wants to ask. And yeah, maybe she's going to include her in a different way in her wedding. Yeah, sure. exactly. You know? Yeah, yeah. So the next one is, hi girlies, love the pod and listen to your advice. I would love your help with mine. 
I got engaged Christmas 2023 and will be getting married in 2026. Mm-hmm. I've dreamt about getting married forever and couldn't wait to plan my wedding until now when it comes to deciding on my bridal party. I have a small group of five friends, but out of those five, I just want two of those as my bridesmaids. Just purely because I'm closer to them and than the others, but I feel like the other three friends are just presuming that they'll be asked. It's honestly keeping me up at night. Is it bad to just have two? Is it bad to just have the two that I want or should I have asked all five just because I feel bad? Help a girl out. Thank you. That's such a tough situation. Oh, yeah. that is tough. It is. I think the fact there's three people though that aren't going to be asked is easier. Like if it was one person, yeah, I would say for the true. sake of one person, ask them. Yeah. But like, like three I not said, asked. you could involve those three girls in different ways. So true. they're not necessarily your bridesmaids, but you could get them to like, I don't know do reading or whatever yeah. you're doing. Yeah, true. I, yeah, I just, like if it was me, just for the sake of peace of mind, I'd just ask all five of them. Would you? Yeah, I, would. I think I would too. Yeah. I just would. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like know, I probably... I'm the exact same and it's just for peace of mind. Like they're going to be there anyway. Yeah. And I don't know, like, because yeah. I've, I've like two really close friends as well that are, I haven't asked but I'm like really contemplating it. Like they kind of know. But then I have other friends. It's like so, it's so it's hard. So it is hard. hard. Do you know what I think we should all do? Take a leaf out of Neve Cullen's book. Ask, yes. ask a load of bright men. A load of men. blokes. Bright <laughs> men, yeah. A load of fellas. Do you know what? Yeah. I know. Yeah. Like I'm in a, I'm in a group of six of them. Then I have all of you. And then I have my girls from oh, England and stuff. Like I, know, I do think hard. about it. I'm like, how That's do you what, dwindle it down? You know, me and Dave were talking about that as well. And I was like, you need to just go back. Think of your OGs. Like yeah, who are your go people? To, uh, yeah, who are your pe- yeah. I'm sorry, it doesn't actually have to be your OGs. It's like who are your people that like yeah, yeah. you would rely on for anything yeah. that you talk to all the time, whatever. And I think at the end of the day, right, it's your when you have to do what you want to do. True. And yeah. if yeah. they are your friends, they will understand. They will understand. True. And if they're making a song and dance out of it, like it's not, yeah. it's not all about you. It's not your. Yeah, they yeah. Because be- if I was an ass, I would make. I'd be like, right, that's her. If like, they kick up a fuss, yeah, they wanted yeah. your friendship to be a bridesmaid. Yeah. Is it like? Yeah. They need to be people who will help you as well, like with the hen and engagement yeah. party, like all yes. that. That's why I picked my two friends because they're literally like the most organized queens I've ever yeah. met in my life. No, like, me too. My sister, oh my God, she's like already sending me everything. Is she? Uh, no, she's going to be so, like she is just... Is she made of honor? Uh, unofficially. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't asked anyone yet. Oh, oh yeah, she <laughs> But um, yeah, and like she has her own, like she does like wedding stationery, yeah, and all that kind of so stuff, like perfect. for her business. So it's grand. Like I have, I'm sorted. It's it's grand, yeah, yeah. I know. yeah. I didn't realize bridesmaids do so much stuff. It's a lot. It's yeah. a hen. Organize like a hen. hen. Job. Girls, yeah. that is so hard. Being yeah. much, uh, organize a hen. That's yeah. why I live hell. I hope no one asks me to organize the hen. <laughs> well, if you're a bridesmaid, <laughs> shit, yeah, yeah. See, it's mm. it's fine. Like if you're a plant, like. I didn't mind it, right? Because I enjoy doing stuff like that. Like, I love planning a party. Like, I'm planning an engagement party at the moment and I'm actually, like, so excited yeah. to, like, organise and shit. Yeah, like. yeah, But it is a lot, like, yeah. hard. That's my idea of hell, organising a party. No, I love Even, like, it. Like, my 21st, I was or- overwhelmed. It's so stressful, like, yeah. drive. I was meant to have my engagement party in May and I just, I couldn't do it. I was like... Really? Could you yeah, know? it was just, I don't know. It was just really stressful because people were like, when it, like, I had a date booked and I had a venue... Yeah. But it was just like who, because people I'm close with now, I may not be close with in two years. And then yeah. you invite them to the engagement party. Oh, do you have yeah. to invite them? Yeah. Do you know oh, what I mean? Fuck yeah. It's, yeah, it's that's so another fuck. thing actually. Really? I, I, I'm actually really curious. Like, is there an expectation? Like if you get invited to the engagement party? Yeah. I don't you think so. Automatically would... invited to the wedding. I, I, I probably wouldn't be inviting anyone to my engagement party if I didn't intend on inviting them to my wedding. Yeah. 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 But oh, I never thought of that actually. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, like, right. Yeah. one, do you like? Do you think? Oh, yeah, I mean, they're like, that's me. Yeah, oh. guaranteed spot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> getting ready for the wedding, and you don't yeah. get an invite. Oh. oh god, that's hard. I mean, but also, if there is a gap of a few years, you can also understand if someone then didn't get invited. Like, yeah, I don't think. I just think like. Everyone needs to relax. Yeah, well. uh, yeah, that yeah. Deep. yeah. That's Life a good way. We're all gonna yeah. die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, that's what, what I literally think of. Yeah. Also. What did we say to the girl about the dilemma? The oh, about I, I was do. just like, get them all. Yeah, you were like, just ask. Them. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't ask them all. I think if you're, you're, yeah. if you're, uh, if you're decision. sending this in asking, I think you, you don't are want kind of all of them. Don't don't have them. Five is a lot, though. Yeah, four is the Include the three in a different way. Yeah, like do something whatever else. it is, get them involved in some way. And like, if they are your good friends, they'll understand. Exactly. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. Like, they might be a bit taken aback for if they're expecting it and they yeah. don't. But like, then they can't take that on you if they're a little bit like 
an oil or something. Yeah. I I, th I don't think you I don't think any of us ever have the right to give out to somebody no, about no. bridesmaid no, unless it's make. your sister and she doesn't ask you and then mm. you have a problem. That's an yeah. issue. That's an issue. <laughs> fam, yeah, that can be an issue. But other yeah, than that, yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody ever has the right to say to someone like, "Why am I not?" It's yeah. mad. I feel like when like put a bring lot of worst things in people. perspective. Oh, they yeah. bring out the best and the worst in people. No, literally, I feel like you really know who your like people are. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that a lot on TikTok. Yeah. That, like you, I know. I'm like, I hope this is not like I hope the people no, I think no. are my people. Are my people. No, no, that's scary. That <laughs> I know, but it is that long. It can bring out so much. Yeah, madness, girls. girls thank you so thank much. You so much. Ready? Yes. We haven't touched on wedding wine. All right, and you just want to fill in or no, anything else? You just oh, say? sorry, I have to ask. Wedding makeup? Are you going to do your own? Makeup? Oh yeah, no. oh, you're a makeup artist. No, I'm not. not. Do okay, no. Own. Do you have who you want it to? Have, do? Yeah, I have like an idea of who I would like. Okay. I haven't asked them yet, but okay. I have an idea of who I'd like, but no, I don't want to do it. No. I just want to do nothing. Fair. Like, yeah. that is my day. Yeah. I'm not working. I'm no. taking that day off. Do you no. know your no. hair makeup? Oh, I'm definitely not doing my own anyway. No. I'm not a hope. Do you know who you're going to get? I think so, yeah. 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 He's an icon. <laughs> <laughs> what are you oh. doing? <laughs> I never wonder who. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so excited. I can't wait to see all the <laughs> wedding content. Yeah. I, I love watching even like Aaron's and all the pro years. Yeah. yeah. No. All the, the stories so on wedding. I'm obsessed. It's mm. so, the build up is so fun. Like I'm yeah. getting excited now because like it didn't really feel that real and, but now that we viewed the venue and we yeah, like, are kind of starting yeah. to lock it in now. It's Things are being excited. put in place. Yeah, oh, it is. Yeah. No, your long two years. Yeah. Apologies to people that are like waiting. No, for I think <laughs> probably going to I think it'll fly time. in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've heard a lot of people you say that that it does fly in. Time. It's the day of the wedding, and you're like, put, where are those? Put to my wedding in two years from this clip. There. Yeah, <laughs> no, I know. Do we actually have to do that? Perfect. Mm. And when we'll you said it. about getting engaged, you're finding up now. I was like think, thinking of a clip when you're getting engaged, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> can I can't imagine. Engaged. <laughs> this is like the voiceover of a clip. You never know. You never know. It's so funny. Not met on this holiday, like. <laughs> I think it's Saturday. Oh, well, like, <laughs> this is like, get, like true. Imagine I got engaged before it's not you. Like you're there together when you're since you're like a teen. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you could be getting Things are so like different when you're getting to your older. relationship when you're older. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because like it's so funny. Me and Dave are probably together the longest out of all our friends, but we're like definitely the last to get engaged. Yeah. Mad, isn't it? So funny, like yeah. Life works in mysterious it ways, does. Mm. and I love it. <laughs> Girls, thank you so much. Thank for you. Thank, thank you so much. You. I feel like a yap. Happy so wedding. Yap, 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 yap. Sorry, we forgot to actually ask Miriam and Aiden about their social handles, but we can give you them now. Oh, yeah. So Aiden is Aiden Kate mm -hmm. and Miriam is Milam. Milam? <laughs> Miriam is Miriam Mullins. Um, so that's where you can follow them and get all the wedding content. Yeah. To be I bright. Love following us. I love it. Yeah. I'm nowhere near getting married, but I no, love it. No, it's just so interesting. It's so, so good. So peak and bleak of the week is what we do at the end of every episode. So we're going to pick one peak, which is our high, and one bleak, which is our low that's happened within the last week. We always like to start with the negative because mm -hmm. actually I think last week we forgot to do that. We're doing the positive first. Oh my God. We did. We are feeling Jeez. too positive. Yeah. <laughs> um, my bleak of the week it's gonna sound so like old, but just the shit weather in summer, and it's always the same. But it's like we always forget, yeah. And we know what to expect, so why are we even surprised? It's just yeah, it just shocks me every time. I know. I just wish. I think Ireland. There's no better place to be when Ireland's nice it's weather. Funny. But not even. I don't even care about the heat. Just the grey. Mm. I feel like I'm getting seasonal depression. I'm not even messing. That's the thing. It's like it's so, and it gives me. I can nearly wake up with a headache when it's grey outside. Yeah. Know what I mean, it's a terrible that when I wake up and I see rain outside, I'm like, yes, I get to stay in yeah, today. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, it ruins my day. <laughs> no, yeah. I'll be at home. I'm like, deadly. I've, I've no excuse to have to, to be out of the house. Like yeah, <laughs> love that lazy hole. Uh, my peak is that I came home from holidays or a bleak. I mean, oh, that's right. Yeah, that's a bleak. Down to the back to the back to reality. Back to reality. Maybe EP will have nice weather. Please, God, we did September. get no, yeah. that was September. That was a Gorgeous. We got really good weather. People were getting like burnt and mm. burnt live. Yeah. Um, and my peak of the week is probably birdhouse. Yay. Because it's so okay, exciting. Okay, Rob, your peak then. Yeah, well, okay, we'll, okay. Share we'll share the peak for this peak. week. It's just so exciting and that people can have something that is like tangible of ours yes. and wear it. And I'm so, so excited to see someone wearing it out. Just randomly. I hope yeah, yeah, people yeah. just do wear it yeah. out today. I'm so, yeah, I'm so excited totally to see that and to... See what's to come for it and all the plans we have and yeah, buzzing for us. Yeah, buzzing. Be cute. Buzzing for the birds. Yeah. That was it, guys. That's thank us, you so folks. much for listening. Mm -hmm. And a huge thank you again to Miriam and Aideen for coming on today. They were absolutely amazing. And all oh, the wedding. I know. <laughs> Do you know what? Weddings, it stresses me out. 
the thought of having a plan of wedding is I just think it's mad that you plan for so long it's one day mm. I know that's an awful way of looking at it like stop being a Debbie Downer early like it's well maybe the planning is the process of it yeah you know what I mean it's that, all yeah fun maybe yeah at times maybe at times yeah I just the thought of planning anything a birthday and like gives me riddled with anxiety that's what a wedding planners for no but I know people are still stressed with a planner though so there True. must be more things to do Love Megan Ryan just, will be organising mine. Yeah, I uh, love you can just best. actually leave it fully that you trust someone fully up to someone. Megan and care about do events. Perfect. perfect. Absolutely. Perfect. The friend group. Perfect. <laughs> you can listen back to our bonus episode from Monday as well, which is called Homer Drink Extra Juice. You can also watch us now on YouTube every Thursday at 12. Our episodes launch. You can see us here. Hey, Wave yeah. into the cameras. <laughs> so, sorry, I keep picking. I haven't eaten a thing. Not the one thing. We're, we've been in here for hours. Um, so we have bonus episodes Mondays and then full episodes Wednesdays and then video episodes Thursdays. Don't forget, you can also subscribe to us on YouTube mm-hmm. so you don't miss it. Make sure to like, rate, like, rate and subscribe to the podcast. And we will see you on Monday. See you Love then. You. Love you. Bye. Bye. Subscribe to this podcast for free on the Go Loud app.